Hello, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you the difference between titanium white and flake white replacement when it comes to mixing into a color of your choice. The titanium white is a very, very strong, very opaque white. I like to use this for final highlighting. For general mixing leading up to fin final highlighting, I like to use something like a flake white replacement from Gamblin. It's much more forgiving. You can add a lot more of this to your color. Whereas if you use too much with the titanium white, it's going to push it away past where you want to go if you're not careful. Then you got to start your color mixture all over again. So again, this is just to show you how these two interact with the color. Today's example and demonstration, I chose cobalt blue because it felt like it. All right, so let's put some paint out on the palette. So this is the flake white replacement. Very similar to real leaded white, just it's a lot cheaper. Titanium white. Straight titanium white. It is not mixed with anything else. meaning it's not a titanium zinc white, which I also have. Maybe we'll try that in a different video. I like to keep things simple. And so here's our color, cobalt blue, which I'm just gonna keep to the side here. Doesn't matter, that oil separation is coming out. Okay, so that was the cobalt blue. Keep it here as a reference. So again, flake white replacement, titanium white, and cobalt blue. I'm gonna move these to the side so we can get to mixing. Okay, so straight pigment blue. I'm just mixing that separated oil back into the uh, into the paint to make it a little more uniform. Okay, great. So that's ready to go. So let's take some blue. We're going to work with the lead the lead white replacement, the flake white, first, and then we'll do the titanium next to it. So take about equal parts, just eyeballing it and see where that gets us. So again, this is about a 50-50 mixture, as close as I can do it just by eyeballing it. And that's what we get. Cobalt blue, flake white replacement. So now let's, let's do the same, but now with the titanium white. Yeah, there's a little oil separation there. Just mix it in for uniformity's sake. That's about 50-50, I'd say, and a little bit more. So titanium white mixed into cobalt blue. You can see there is a stark difference in those mixtures. It is much more lighter of a mixture. So 
So yes, two whites mixed into a color, equal portions, close to it as I can possibly get it, yielding two different results from two different whites. This is a much stronger white, the titanium white versus this flake white replacement. Both are from Gamblin, and then this is a Blue Ridge Cobalt Blue. So we have that, let's see what happens if we decide to lighten some more. So we'll take about that much paint. I'm gonna pull about the same here. Need a little paper towel. Okay. Let's get to mixing. obviously been lightened. So we went into our lighter mixture and added white to that. And let's go to our stronger white and repeat the same process. So you can see the difference there in these mixtures. You'll hear a term thrown around called chalky. Doesn't, doesn't, I don't really find that to be a very accurate statement, statement meaning like when I'm thinking of chalk, I'm thinking of like a chalky texture. It's, in this sense, it's, you know, chalk is generally very light in colors think pastels so I think it's important to make that distinction it just means it's making it lighter proportionally for the same amount of paint yeah so you can definitely see the differences it does make a difference Depends what you're trying to do in your paintings. It's, um, I'd recommend experiment, experiment, experiment. Learn, you learn by doing. You watch every video in the world and read every book, but until you actually do it yourself, you're not going to learn anything. I'm living proof of that. But this is just to, to just give you a quick idea. So, you know, if you're on the fence and you had a, you could only afford to buy one tube of white paint, you're like, you know, like, Ed, what do I do? Like, all right. Buy the titanium white, just use very little amounts and you'll get used to it. Sure, you can paint with this for your entire painting career. Most, a lot of people do. There's nothing wrong with it. I did for a long time. And then I just decided to experiment with other whites just to see, you know, whatever. That's part of the artistic process. Experimentation, asking questions. Asking why, challenging. Other statements putting them through the ringer. So yeah, you know, give it a shot. If your budget allows, I would say buy these two. My personal experience has led me to these two whites. I'm gonna use the flake white replacement because it's easier to work with in general painting. You know, give me 95% of the way. And then when I'm putting in, the, putting in those intense highlights, I put this on my palette, the titanium white. And uh, there's, there's nothing beats it. This, you know, gets those lighting highlights, those effects that you really, really need to pop over the moon. Um, invaluable. But yeah, give it a shot. Let me know how it works out for you.
If this video has helped you at all, please subscribe, like, and share. It helps out the channel, and I do appreciate it. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. Thank you.